Guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is sum of unique elements. In this question, we are given an integer array called nums and we need to find the sum of unique elements inside that array. So by definition, a unique element is an element that appears exactly once inside the array. It means the count of that element should be 1. So we have to find out those elements and add them up and return it as the output. So the length of this array is 4. Out of this, there are only two unique elements because 1 is appearing one time and 3 is appearing one time, 2 is appearing twice, so it is not a unique element. So we add 1 and 3 and we get the sum as 4, which we return it as the output. Now let's take a look at this example and develop the logic to code it up. I've taken the same example given to us. So this is the nums array. Now we have to find the unique elements inside the array so that we can add them and find the sum. So I'm going to use a hash map to store the element and its uh, respective count. So let's make a hash map now. So this is the hash map. The key will be the array element and the value is going to be its respective count. So to fill the hash map, let us iterate through the input array from left to right. So we start off with the first element. If it is not present inside the map, add it into the map. So 1 is not present, so add it into the map and set its frequency to 1. Go to the next element. Next element is 2. 2 is not present inside the map, so add it into the map and set its frequency to 1. Now go for the next element. Next element is 3. 3 is not present inside the map, so add it into the map and set its frequency to 1. Next element is 2. 2 is present inside the map, so increment its frequency by 1. Current frequency is 1, so 2's frequency will become 2. And now we reach the end of the nums arrays and now we have the hash map ready. And now we declare a variable sum which will be our output and initialize it with 0 because the sum is 0 as of now. Now we have to iterate through the entries inside the map. There are 3 entries inside the map. Now we start with the first entry. So unique element will have a count equal to 1. So we have to check for keys whose value is equal to 1. So in the first entry we start off with checking the value, its value is equal to 1. So add its key into the sum. So its key is 1. So sum is now 1. Now check the second entry. Second entry's value is 2. So it's not unique. So skip that element and go for the next element. Next element's value is 1. It's a unique element. So get its frequency and add it into the sum. So 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. And now we reach the end of the map. So all our entries are finished and the final answer is stored inside sum and the sum is 4. So sum will be returned as the output. Now let's implement these steps in a Java program. Coming to the function given to us, this is the function name and this is the input array nums and the return type is an integer denoting the sum of unique elements. So first we start by declaring the hash map. So the key inside the hash map is an integer and the value inside the hash map is also an integer. So keys are going to be the array elements and the values are going to be the frequency of that array element. So we iterate through the input array nums to fill our hash map. So we start with the first element inside the nums array and then we're going to check if that element is present inside the map as key. Since the map is empty, it will execute this statement and it will insert that element inside the map and set its frequency to 1. And from the next time, whenever you find the same element which is present inside the map as key, it will get its current frequency from the map and increment it by 1. So this else statement will be executed for every unique element inside the nums array and from the next time it appears this if statement will be executed. So this for loop will give us the frequency of every element inside the array and now we are declaring our output variable sum which is initially 0 and now using the entry method on the map I am creating an entry object to iterate through the entries inside the map using the entry set method. Now I am checking the value of each entry inside the map since unique elements have a count equal to 1 so their value should be 1. So whichever element has a count equal to 1, I'm getting its corresponding key which is the array element and adding it to the sum. So in this example, 1 is a unique element because its count is 1. So I'm checking if count of 1 is equal to 1. Yes, count of 1 is equal to 1. So I'm getting the key. So I'm accessing the element 1 and adding it to the sum. So sum was 0, it will be updated to 1. And next, 3 is also a unique element because its count is 1. Yes, count of 3 is 1. So get its respective key, key is 3, so add 3 to the sum, sum was 1, it will be 4 now and now it will check count of 2, count of 2 is 2, so this condition will fail and it will come out of the if statement and outside the for loop you accessed all the entries inside the map and you have our final answer inside result. So for this example we had 4 in our output, so we are returning sum as the output. Now let's run the code, the test cases are running, let's submit the code and our solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n because we are iterating to the input array nums from left to right where n is the length of the nums array 
and the space complexity is also of n because we're using a hash map to build our logic and that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one